Here we have rewriting a quadratic function to find its vertex and then sketch its graph. So they want us to um, rewrite this into this form. Now we're going to need to learn or remember the completing the square process. Okay. So before I can complete the square, I need to factor out the a and then begin the completing the square process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this expression and I'm going to kind of kick the 73 off to the side for a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to work with these two terms here. I am going to factor the a from those two terms. And when I do that, I end up with three times x squared minus 10 x. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete that square for what's on the inside here. And how do we do we take um, b over 2 and square it. So b in this case is negative 10 and then if I put that over 2 I get negative 5 squared which is 25. So I'm going to add 25 in here but that's actually not a 25. That's actually 3 times 25 which means it's actually adding a 75. So if I'm going to add 75 over here, in order to keep this expression equivalent to the previous expression, I need to undo what I just did. So in order for me to undo that, I'm going to have to minus 75. Okay? So if I'm adding 75 and minusing 75, it's like I'm really doing nothing to the original expression. Okay? So now I have this, I can complete the square here, which you get x squared, and I can combine my terms here, negative 2, and you get what was in the parentheses before you squared it. So since it was a negative 5 in this parentheses, I'm going to use minus 5 in here. And you can verify, you can FOIL this out and make sure that it equals x squared minus 10x plus 24, and it should. So this is going to be I rewrite g of x. Okay, so I've got to complete that square in order to rewrite g of x. Once I have the vertex there, um, I should be able to do the same process as we've been doing before, where we have, if you take the opposite sign, it's 5, so then you have to do two values to the left, two values to the right, plug them in to get the y coordinates, and then you can graph your um, function. So let me see. 3 parentheses, 3 squared, minus 30 times 3, plus 73. I get 10. Then if I go in and I plug in 4, I get 1. If I plug in 5, I get negative 2. And if I plug in 6, I get 1. And just to be sure, if I plug in 7, should I get 10? Yes, I get 10. So then we have 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 3 and 10. And then 4 and 1. 5 and negative 2. 6 and 1, and then 7 and 10. And so you get this really narrow graph, but it should look like a parabola. And that's all you do for these. The hardest part is going to be the completing the square. Making sure you factor the a out from both of the first two x terms. Keep the other constant off to the side. Once you figure out what you're adding inside the parentheses, be sure to think about what that means you're really adding. So take that A and multiply it by what you've added to figure out what you've really done. Once you know what you've really done, then do the opposite out here. Okay? And then it's a matter of just fact foiling or sorry, factoring this and combining these like terms. And then you'll have it in the form that you need to have it in.